Okay, so now we're gonna learn how to create a service material. Go to logistics, material management, and go to service master, service, and AC03, that's the transaction for service master. Using the service master, we can create a service material. Now, this is very different from creating a raw material or a finished goods or an NLAG material. Let's see how it's different. So click on the new button, click create new service. And we're gonna create an electric service. So we're gonna call it ELEC, serve, see me, uh, say zero one. And it's a service, right? And the basic unit of measure is hour. We're gonna measure services in hours. Hit enter. And it says, maintain a short text. So we're gonna give a basic description. What shall we try? We're calling it basic electrical services. Hit enter. And over here, you can use a valuation class of service. Say, 3200 and hit enter now that's all you need to create a service master and go hit save let's say we want to create additional services like the advanced service or the labor service it's really easy to do them once again go to service master and select the material that you have created already click on copy and create create the advanced service material. So it's not basic, but this is advanced. Advanced electric services, and everything else remains the same. The price is different, right? So save that, and another one. Now this time, we are gonna create labor labor zero one and call it manual labor and the unit of measure is same valuation class is same save it so here is what we have done using the service master ac03 we have created a basic electric service and the unit of measure is hours and the valuation class is 3200. And we have also created advanced electric services and labor using the copy button. It's just an easy way to copy services, right? So we have created this, we have created this, and we have created this. Now, now that we have created these service materials, let's go create a purchase order again. So go to ME21N, same vendor, 4001. And you don't put that material here, not in this field. You just put a short text. So what are we trying to do? We are trying to procure electric services for a repair of our AC, say, right, or pump repair. So call it pump. repair right for a quantity of one we don't know how many hours we're just saying a quantity of one and in account assignment somebody has to eat the cost right so we're going to put a cost center and put an admin department in charge for paying this right and the net price is say ten dollars that doesn't matter just put a number there and now, and now where do you put all the service materials that we have created? Electric service one, basic electric service, advanced electric service, labor. We don't put them here. Instead, we put it at the line item level. But in order to do that, we have to classify this material as a service material. We just entered a text, right? We didn't enter the material number here. So how would SAP know that we are creating 
a service line item that is done using the item category d d is for service hit enter now go to the services tab and enter your services here what are the services that we have created electric service 01 right put a, you don't need to put a short text it'll all be taken and put a quantity of 1 and now it's asking you for a price and we put and we say that the admin is eating the cost of this electric service we have just created one service here so we are asking the vendor 4001 for an electric service now we don't know that an advanced electric service is required or a labor is required we don't know that yet if we knew that in advance we could very well put them here so as of now we are expecting that we need one hour of electric service at $10 per hour, right? 